Nestled in the western foothills of the Rocky Mountains, Ada County, Idaho is home to the state capital of Boise. It is also home to some 400,000 residents who work, live, and play here. This is the fire department. In the pre-dawn hours of February 10, 1992, emergency dispatchers received a 911 call. A man reported that his house, a two-story duplex, was on fire. And he believed a family of four who shared the house was still trapped inside. Within minutes, firefighters and emergency units from the surrounding area responded to the call. Fire and smoke consumed the duplex. Firefighters struggled to bring the first floor blaze under control. Rescue workers fought their way through the flames and thick smoke to see if anyone had been trapped inside. In a second floor bedroom, they discovered a man lying motionless on the bed. A young girl was found on the floor a few feet away. As the search continued, firefighters recovered the body of a young boy in a nearby bedroom. All of the victims were rushed outside for treatment. But despite the rescue workers' efforts, all three were pronounced dead at the scene. The man who lived in the separate residence inside the duplex told police that around 4 a.m. he was awakened by his smoke alarm. He tried to wake up the other family, but got no response. He identified the victims as 34-year-old Randy Rowe and his two stepchildren. He didn't know the whereabouts of the children's mother, Robin Rowe, who also lived at the residence. Then, two women arrived at the scene. One identified herself as Robin Rowe. Visibly shaken by the news, emergency workers escorted the young mother away from the house. Her friend, Joan McHugh, told police that Robin had fallen asleep at her house earlier that evening. Robin had awakened her just a short while earlier and wanted to return home. She had a premonition that something bad had happened to her family. All of the victim's bodies were removed from the scene and transported to the medical examiner's office for autopsy. Now, Fire Marshal Doug McGrew began looking for clues to tell him how and why the fire started. We started looking into the uh, ignition source of the fire by doing, like we do on all fires, we do an exterior walk around to the building, we look and see where the least damage is, we go there, and we start working towards the areas where the most damage occurred. Once we get into that area, then we start digging down through and, and layering through the debris and trying to determine exactly what ignited the fire. Almost immediately, investigators made a strange discovery. The circuit breaker that controlled power to the family's smoke alarm was in the off position. But that did little to explain how the fire started. And because the damage was so extensive, finding those answers would take time. Within hours, autopsies were performed on Randy Rowe and the two children. The medical examiner found lethal amounts of soot and carbon monoxide in each of the victim's lungs and mucous membranes.
he concluded that all three had died as a result of smoke inhalation caused by the fire. 